To start it off, I'm going to take my notepad and I'm going to write down some of the things that I see in this image. So, because it's a raw file, it's very dull, it lacks saturation, and we also see that the exposure is too low. And we can tell that because this isn't all the way to the right. And if you want a balanced image, you want this to be on the left and this to touch the right. And that's how you know your image is very balanced. Now we also see some greens. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this. I might turn this into a more fall-like color. But it all depends on what we end with. And what we also notice is that this is a long exposure shot. Now, that doesn't really affect the editing but it's good to know because this is apparently the highlight of the image. So we need to keep it that way. With our notepad onto the other monitor, which you can't see, we are now going to start with the image and we're going to start with the basics. All right, so let's start with the first thing and that's the exposure. Now it's already added here because of the scene referred workflow. So I'm going to add in a new instance because I don't want the entire image to be affected with what I'm going to do right now because the sky is already blown out. So with the second exposure, we're going to create a mask and I'm going to use the path tool and I'm just going to draw over here, which doesn't have to be precisely around the borders because we are going to feather it out. I'm going to go downwards and I'm going to close the mask with my right mouse button. And then if we activate this, we can see that this is the mask. Now, if we feather it and we blur it, we won't get that nasty halo. Let me deselect that. And now let's see a before and after. So here's a before, here's an after, and that already looks a lot better. Now, what this image needs as well is contrast. And in this case, I'm going to add in contrast by using the four ways because we have a blown out area over here, which is our waterfall, which is also the focus of this image. Now the same goes here. I want to add the mask here. So I'm going to go to mask, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to select mask used exposure two. So that pulls up the mask again. And once again, blur and feather it. Let me click this so we don't see the mask anymore. I'm going to decrease the shadows lift. See what's happening. So now we're opening it up. And this way we're decreasing it. I'm going to decrease the midtones. I'm going to increase the highlights. And then we have a before and after. So here's a before, pretty flat. And here we have an after, which has a lot more contrast in it. Now let's add in some saturation. And we can actually use the color balance for that as well by going to the master tab. We've got a couple of options, chroma grading, saturation grading, brilliance grading. I've already explained in a different video what all of these sliders do. So I'm not going to address them here, but I am going to add in some contrast in the midtones, which is this slider, which makes the greens more green. Right, here's a before, here's an after. That already looks a lot better. Now let's go to the tone equalizer module and let's see where the values are. So we've got minus five over here. This is minus zero, and then this is minus two, three. So we need to address the five and around the three, let's say. Now, because this is affecting everything, which is something I don't want to, I need to add in the mask here again. So I'm going to mask again, and I'm going to paint over this waterfall, okay? Better it, blur it to get rid of some halo. Let's check this. So this is the mask. We can change the opacity of the mask so we can make it more stronger make it less stronger let's increase it a bit we can change the contrast as well of the mask now let's look at it before and after so here's the before here's an after it makes it stand out more so let's look at it before after i'm going to change the mode from normal to in this case multiply and then let's take a snapshot let's go back to the original ones so orientation one so here's the image we started with and this is what we created of it. So now there's uh, two more things. So the local contrast, I'm going to activate that one. I'm going to increase it by quite a bit. But I don't want the entire image to be affected. So once again, mask. And in this case, we're going to reuse the color balance RGB mask. Click here. And now we can see a before and after. And then the final thing is I want to add in a vignette. I'm going to activate that one. And I'm just going to focus this on the waterfall. But I am going to increase the saturation of the surrounding area. Now let me show you before and after. So once again, snapshot. So here's the starting point and here's the end point. 